In this tutorial, we'll take a look at how to create swappable weapons, so that when the player walks over top of a weapon item, it automatically equips itself. The beauty of this system is that each new item will actually automatically animate itself, saving you the time of animating individual weapon attacks. Before we get started, I should note that this tutorial does follow the other videos in the melee tutorial series, the most important being the first one on animating a melee attack. In that video, we set up our player with a melee attack script so that when you push a button, he swings his sword. And perhaps most importantly, our player has two game objects childed to him. The first one is a empty game object called a sword hand, and the other is the weapon itself. The reason this is important is because when we animated the player, it was actually the empty sword hand that we animated, so that when you push a button, the sword hand swings, and you can equip any weapon at all to it, and it will automatically follow that hand through the attack cycle. So the first thing I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to rename this item here called sword simply to weapon. Because what we're going to do in this script is we're just going to change the sprite based on whatever item we've recently picked up. The only other thing you'll need before we get started is sprites for the weapons you'll be swapping between. I'll be using a sword and an axe here, but the logic we're using in this tutorial could be used to swap between an infinite number of different items. Now if you click on your sword item and go to the sprite editor, you'll see that we can set up our pivot point here. I've set mine up so that it's right where the player's hand will be. This is what allows the sword to pivot nicely through the attack animations. You'll need to make sure to set up all of your weapons the same way so that the pivot point is right where that player's hand's gonna go. And let's just see how this looks now. So if I click on my weapon game object and swap out the sprite with my axe, you'll notice that it automatically fits into the player's hand. And when I move through the animation, the axe now moves nicely through the attack cycle. The last thing we need to do before we get coding is to create the actual game objects we'll collect in order to swap weapons. So I'm just going to take my axe and drag it up into the game here. And I'll do the same with my sword so that we can make an item for each one. Now for each of these game objects, we're going to need to add a box collider. And I'm also going to tag the weapons so that we can tell which one is which in our code. To do this, you're going to have to click on tag. And we'll need to add some new tags. You can do this down at the bottom here. I'll create one for my axe. Then you also need to go back into the item itself and make sure to re-tag it as axe. Finally, I'm gonna add a rigid body 2D to my items. I like this because that way when they are in the scene, they actually follow gravity, which just looks more natural. Now optionally, you can also rotate the Z axis on your weapon so that it is laying down in the map, which I'll just take a second to do here. With that done, we just need to do the exact same thing for any other weapons we wanna put into the game. You could do this by hitting Command D to make a duplicate item and just change the sprite, but I'm just going to do this the hard way. All right, with that, we're ready to get scripting. So I'm going to go into my scripts folder here. I'm going to create a new C Sharp script. I'm going to call this one Weapon Manager. Now we can get started by just removing these default methods as we're not going to be needing them. Then at the top here, we're going to create a public sprite renderer. We'll just call this one Player Weapon. And then beneath that, we'll make two more variables for sprites. We'll make one for our axe, one for our sword, and you can make as many as you need depending on the number of weapons you want. Now, essentially what we want to happen is that when our player collides with these items, we want the items to disappear and our player's sprite to change so that he has a different weapon in hand. To do this, we're just gonna create an on collision enter 2D function. Since this script is on our player, it will fire anytime the player hits another collider. And we'll make an if statement here, just checking to see if the collision game object that we've hit has a tag that is equal to sword. And if that is true, then we want to change our sprite to be a sword. So we're going to type player weapon, which is the sprite renderer, and we'll change the sprite itself to be equal to our sword sprite, which is just the variable we created up top. One other thing we want to do is we actually want to destroy the game object so that the sword doesn't continue to lay on the map. We'll then copy this if statement here paste it in. And all I want to do here is change it so that it's with the axe. So if he collides with the axe, we will change his sprite to be equal to the axe sprite. We'll destroy it. I'm just going to make this statement here an else if, just to tie it to the if statement up above. Now back in Unity, I'll just click on my player. I'm going to close up these other components here just to clean things up and then add the weapon manager script. You'll notice we've got a few boxes here to fill in. I'll just start by dragging over my axe and sword sprites into these two boxes. 
And the next one is for the sprite renderer on our weapon itself. So I'll just drag over the weapon game object and fortunately Unity will automatically find the sprite renderer that's already on there. So now when I get into the game, you'll notice that I can swing my sword just like I always could. But when I go to the ax, it swaps out my weapon. I can hit the attack key and it is already animated even though I didn't do any custom animation for this ax. And I can go over to the sword and it'll swap out for the sword. That does it for this tutorial. I hope you found this one helpful. If you have, please be sure to click like, subscribe to the channel, or leave me a comment down in the comment section. This is Matt with Nightrun Studio. Thanks for watching.